Side one of Steely Dance, old school, coming at ya. Yeah, Wolfman Jack, yeah, off grid and whiskey here at Sasquatch Ranch, yeah. What are we doing? We are going to take said cement, add it to water, H2O, make concrete, and then when it's all set and perfect, we add the four stainless Jan Michael Boltons to hold the turntable swivel with the moon rock needle so we can party like it's 1999. Oh, come on. Four gallons of water. Each gallon is eight pounds. Call Britney Spears. Carry the four. Divide the one out of zero. Come on, 32 pounds. Yes. You know how I operate. I got out a little base water first. That's the ingredients here. One of my sacks broke open, so I had to put it in a bucket. Oh. Oh. Speaking of speaking of sacks broken open. Ooh, poor Papa Bear. The Go Cromer Fun page is coming soon. Yes. Poor Papa Bear. His walnut wallet is empty. Yes, Papa Bear's in the kitchen mixing up the medicine. Yeah, Papa Bear. That is wetter than last night's love. It's dried up a little bit. Oh, easy! <laughs> oh, toil, toil, cauldron, bubble, double trouble. I gotta work on my Shakespeare. Okay, so my rule is never go over a bag and a half because it just gets too tough to cauldron bubble, you know? Look. This is Rocky Horror Picture Show. I accidentally added too much water, so I gotta go two bagger. One for me, one for. Oh, it's a terrible joke. Pretty good. I could go a little drier. Um, but here is what's Uncle Festering in my head. I'm putting this off. Uh, the bolts. Uh, my girl likes to party all the time. They have to be perfectly. There's just a little bit of play in here. But they have to be. You know, dead nuts, pretty much. That's a three beggar. One for me, one for you, one for Papa Bear. Yes. How could I how could we leave him out of this? It's so intimate here at the Sasquatch. There it is. Three bags, a little wetter than I like. There you go. It's all tamped. That's what that means. You know, you just give it a love tap all the way around. That releases the air bubbles and lets the cement sit thicker, you know what I mean? Get those air bubbles out of there. Okay, now I gotta, it's, oh, it's not Larry Fortensky yet, but I gotta sit around for a little bit, wait for this to set, then get the bolts in, the Michael Boltons, yes. These are the real Michael Boltons, none of that fake lag stuff. Oh, whoa, 99, 100, yes. That's what you do while you're waiting for the cement to uh, set, is to do some push-ups, get a clap, and that was 100, I swear. While we're waiting for said cement there to set, say that three times, I dare you. Let me show you what I've been uncle festering about. I mean, we're talking, we're on deadly ground here, Stephen Skull. This is a lag that goes into the bottom of the post, which is right there. And this is a stainless, it's a carriage bolt, carry on my wayward Bolton. So there is not a lot there. It is a tight margin, yes. So I got to measure that quarter inch, then that, to finger this out. And then, you know, when I'm placing the bolts, Michael Bolton's, I got to, the space, the spacing. Come back here. Oh, no. Could this be the last bend over while I'm down here? Oh! I remember uh, fifth grade playground, recess, LaDonna Fox, sixth grade. Just hanging out with her girlfriend. I was with some dude. 
she, I don't know if this was on purpose, but she bends over in front of us and picks down and gets a screw, a real screw on the ground and goes, hey, Randy Bear, you want a screw? And I was like going, I think that means something beyond just the, this, I think it's a metaphor is what I said to myself. So she was really good with, uh, with Donna Fox at metaphors. That's what I was impressed with. Now here comes the fun part, the Coupe de Gracie. You screw up now, it's over, Johnny. Five inches is what I want. Away from this post to here. I want the Xerxes fitting. Well, it doesn't matter right now. I'm not setting this. Never mind. Cancel that 300 uh, movie promo there with Xerxes. Six and a half. Oh no, we're six and a half, eight inches. So I've got an inch and a half to play with, right? That sounds more like it, right? What's half of an inch and a half? Three quarters, right? Let's see what that does. Now I'm gonna be smart. Not really, but okay, that's got to go down. Seven eighths has to be sticking out. <laughs> Once I establish one uno, it'll perhaps be better. Yeah. We're seven eighths on a pencil, so I can write above that from the in between the erasers and the chiclets, right above that green. I'm sort of a perfectionist, and when it comes to something like this, it's gonna be tough to get absolutely perfect. I need total concentration here, so bear with me. Just gotta go for it. Unfortunately, there's not like a lot. It's only seven eighths sticking up, so if it was off a little bit when I'm not looking, usually you take a hammer and beat these that are really long when you're building a house. On the foundation you can just beat them over a little bit no big deal these are so short that uh oh it's gonna be hard to beat yeah look they're like micro boltons right there seven eighths inch now you know why i want to do one gate at a time because i mean still the post the margins are so tight the final micro Bolton. Yes. So this entire operation, I mean, have you seen my operation? Rides on these four stainless bolts sticking up. I mean, it'll determine everything with the swivel. So cross your fingers that it sets perfectly. Next session, we will, we can move on with building the gate. The gate, get the gate. Once this is all in, I can lag it into the post and, oh no, we got to do the upstairs one. That's a whole different world, by the way. Kink, kink, kink. Don't rev up that microwave. The plate in my head is, you know, isn't big enough. All right. Micro Bolton out.